hopefully you guys can hear me over the noise the road noise today is a little bit more than it normally is we're going to take a look at this grand design solitude this is a rear kitchen model ST 280RKR it's a rear kitchen slide large slide is on the campsite so it's something to consider so you're going to have two different awnings one front Woo, road noise one back awning so that will extend out very large frameless windows on this side at least so you're going to have your pass through air coming through the slide like that frameless windows here up front and across the back so lower maintenance rack and pinion slides auto leveling receiver on the back walkable roof obviously ladders in place and I want to keep apologizing for these trucks goodness secondary slide on the roadside not as large, but that is part of your kitchen. Additional frameless windows, again, lower maintenance. Rack and pinion slide on this side. Water station. Full pass through. Additional storage coming around the corner too. Auto level to the inside here. And on this particular one, there is an easy rail. So this heavy 50 amp cord, you can actually use this to reel it up instead of trying to manhandle it yourself, which gets a little bit gnarly. Small slide for the bedroom up front. It's not the bed itself, with it being smaller, they could do a swing tack, so pretty much no maintenance there. Additional storage is going to be up front. We'll ride box. So let's go ahead and get in this guy. All right. Starts in the back see if I can get high enough that you can actually see the living and kitchen which I personally like it's really open a little bit different most are gonna have that center island with the sink in this case they have your sink at the very back along that long counter I like that because you end up with a view straight out the back and to the side then you can slightly turn and you have an additional view right out that slide too Down it, pantry, sink, four burner with oven, microwave, fridge, electric fireplace. And with this TV, it does recess in to that cabinet. Additional storage on this side and your upper cabinets pretty much touch so all that additional space that you can have they have given it let's see the campsite windows which is pretty substantial too so again you do have some non frameless so you can get airflow across that slide and through the unit then you have frameless windows here Technically, you can open, but it's not quite the same. Good ceiling height here. I like that they finished trimming out the panels above. Instead of just trying to hide it, they just went ahead and accented it. Vented AC. Now, with this sink, 
It is a stainless steel double basin. Your divider's a little bit shorter. You should end up with less splash back. For those that know what I'm talking about, you'll appreciate that. Grand Design always has nice modern touches. These are blackout curtains as well. And one nice thing that kind of tucked away is underneath this set of doors. That is prep. You can see that would be for a dryer vent. So you can have a combo unit in this. And this kitchen is also prepped to accept the dishwasher. Thankfully, they've kept all these cabinets really deep too. So move on around. Small sweep. So it's a small vacuum there in the center and bottom. You sweep everything to it, pick it up. All of our controls are upper. So you have your manuals. This will be a touch screen with it being LCI. You should be able to connect that with your cell phone as well. You can control your slides, awnings, lights from just your smartphone. Walk through bath. Decent shower. If you're over 6'4, you're going to feel like you're going to hit. You should not hit. I like the placement of this vanity. I like the placement of this sink. You can actually put things behind this sink and not worry about splattering up the side of the wall as well. Stainless. A lot of people aren't going to think this is big enough. Not that they couldn't have gone bigger, but then you sacrifice how much space you have on your counter. And if you're going to be in a rig this size for any length of time, you're going to want that extra space. So again, nice shower. Nice setup there. And over to our master bed. That was the slide outside for the Schwinn Tech. So that's your additional wardrobe space. Rods in these. Should be a double. Yep. So double rods. So you have hanging, additional storage on each side and above. With this bed, we're pretty much maxed out on the width. So you're going to be going with the queen here. But plenty of walk around space. This one is already equipped with a second unit in the bedroom. Your TV is already in place. So yeah, as always, Grand Design does an amazing job. Come check us out for this ST280RKR, NLRB and Jackson. Comment on what you like or don't like, what you want me to add or take away, and I hope to have better equipment later too. Alright guys, subscribe and like.